Hi everyone, welcome to another and question, another question and answer session. Here the question: A 72 years old man is undergoing a left pneumonectomy for carcinoma of the bronchus. As the surgeons approach to the root of the lung, which structure is will lies most anteriorly in this anatomical plane. So we have to find out the most anteriorly located structure of which at the root of the lungs at the root of the lungs that means in the hilum area or middle part of the lung area so here 72 years old man undergoing left pneumonectomy for carcinoma of the bronchus and surgeon approach at the root of the lung so the operation procedure done through the root of the lung we have to find out the structure which lies most anteriorly at this anatomical plane that means at this root of the lung which nerve lies most anteriorly here are the options the options are vagus nerve phrenic nerve bronchus pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery so we have to find out one of the structure which lies most anteriorly in this plane so here in this picture we can see this is the right lung and here this is the left lung and we can see in this here we can see the pulmonary vessels are passing through this from here and here and it is the hilum and hilum and some other structure in this area are together called the root of the lung so here this area is the root of the lung so in this plane we have to find out the structure which lies most anteriorly here we can see a nerve is passing down and this nerve is the most anteriorly located we can see this nerve also located anteriorly to the pulmonary vessels so this nerve will be the most anteriorly seated nerve in the hilum of the lung region or root of the lung region and you can see here this nerve is the in the left side it is the left phrenic nerve and on the right side it is the right phrenic nerve so the phrenic nerve it is the most anteriorly seated structure or nerve which present at the root of the lung and we can see this phrenic nerve finally reaches in the diaphragm and supplies the diaphragm here and in this picture we can see this also this is the cervical root and here this is the left phrenic nerve it lies on the left side and finally this is the diaphragm and it passes through the root of the lung because here we can see the blood vessel entering the lung here these are the blood vessel on the left side and also right side here these are the blood vessel entering into the lung and the phrenic nerve it lies anteriorly and finally recess in the diaphragm and it arises from the cervical plexus and its root value is cervical 3 cervical 4 cervical 3 and cervical 4 actually this cervical root of the phrenic nerve it is cervical 3 cervical 4 and cervical 5 but most important cervical 4 so the root value of the phrenic nerve here cervical 2 cervical 3 and cervical 4 it arising from the cervical plexus from the cervical region then descend down through the neck and enter into the chest and finally reaches the diaphragm which is located between the chest and the abdomen and the it is the last picture and here we can see this is the heart with pericardium and it is one side and it is the left side and in the left side we can see this is uh, the pulmonary vessel such as this is the left main pulmonary artery then here left main bronchus and left pulmonary vein and some nerve structure passes and here we can see this is the phrenic nerve and this phrenic nerve left phrenic nerve and this left phrenic nerve it lies more more entirely of this vessel and we can see another nerve passing behind this uh, root or pulmonary ligament and this is the vagus nerve this nerve this is the vagus nerve here we can see this is the vagus nerve so most anteriorly the structure is phrenic nerve and most posteriorly the structure is the vagus nerve so this point is very very important for us to remember and it is here from here the repeated question arises in the exam that the most anteriorly seated structure at the level of the root of the lung which is the structure 
then another question frequently asked that there is, is the most posteriorly seated structure in at the root of the lung and this is the left vagus nerve so this figure is very very important for the mrcs examining for answering the uh, question so here it is the answer here the phrenic nerve the phrenic nerve is the most anterior structure and we can read the question again to realize deeply that a 72 years old man undergoing left pneumonectomy that means the left sided lung are removed by surgical procedure for the carcinoma of the bronchus for the carcinoma of the bronchus so for the carcinoma of the bronchus left uh, sided lungs removed and surgeon approach at the root of the lung that means in the hilum area of the lung that hilum of the lung together with another uh, some other structure and we know that the hilum is always known as the gate the main gate we know that the main gate of any house is uh, used for entering the house and here the root of the lung is the main gate for the lungs so the structure passing through the root of the lung or it leaving root of the lung they are the main structure passing through this hilum so which structure will lie most anteriorly in this anatomical plane so there, there are two important questions one is anteriorly another one is posteriorly and here we can see the phrenic nerve the phrenic nerve lies most anteriorly on the other hand we can see other sentence here we can see the vagus nerve lies most posteriorly so this two point is very very important one is the phrenic nerve and another one is the vagus nerve phrenic nerve it lies most anteriorly on the other hand the vagus nerve vagus nerve lies the most posteriorly so here our answer is the phrenic nerve other options here such as the vagus nerve it lies most posteriorly bronchus bronchus located within the hilum uh, root of the lung then pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery they are also present at the root of the lung but they are located in the middle place between the phrenic nerve and the vagus nerve so our answer here the phrenic nerve and we know from there that the root value of the phrenic nerve it originated from cervical 3 cervical 4 and cervical 5 this root value is also important because sometimes question arises from this point this is the root value of the phrenic nerve so our answer phrenic nerve thank you all And you are welcome all time to the Graph MRCS channel and I will discuss all the questions regarding the MRCS exam that means the EMRCS Fauzia sheets or recalls and some other questions which is relating to the MRCS. Thank you all.